Now that we have toilet paper, it's time to break out the sewing machine and make some face masks. I think our candy will soon start to require them to be worn at all times. So better be prepared. I'm hoping I don't have to wear a mask while I'm on the trails, but just in case, I turned a DeSoto Skin Cooler beanie into a mask also. Since all of our spring races have been canceled due to COVID-19, we have stopped doing our high intensity pre-race type workouts and moved back into base training. So now it feels like it's back at January again. It does with longer, slower workouts. So I listened to a podcast from Cody Waite, who we buy our training schedules from, and he had three really good points. Number one, probably won't be any races until at least June, maybe even later. Mm -hmm. um, number two, the high intensity workouts suppress your immune system. So that's a bad thing right now. Um, so that's why we should stop doing those. And number three, what we should start doing is our base training to position us to peak towards the late fall or late uh, summer or early fall. So now our racing and training schedule looks like this. And unfortunately, a lot of our races were rescheduled into the fall, and um, now we've got some conflicts and overlaps, such as September 13th is now the USAT Off-Road Triathlon Championships, but it's the same day as Xterra Laguna Beach. Right, and it allows us to actually take a look at some great options as well. Being that uh, the USAT was our A race this year, uh, we looked at the Xterra calendar and the uh, uh, Southeastern Championships in Oak Mountain, Alabama, which is a wonderful, supposed to be a wonderful course, uh, great mountain biking. I think we can add that to the schedule because it's two weeks before the USAT race. Yeah, I've heard good things about that race, so it should and be fun. Cody Wade also offered up another tip that this would be a great time to take a recovery week and do an FTP test. And since it's raining all week, that's exactly what we're going to do. FTP test day. Okay, here we go. An FTP, or Functional Threshold Power Test, is a measure of your current cycling performance level. It tells you the best average power you could sustain for one hour and is supposed to be used for setting power level targets in your workouts and races. I used Zwift's 20 minute FTP test, which included about a 15 minute warm up and five minute cool down. Five minutes. Blown by. Drop that gear and disappear. Look at that wattage. One more minute. Powder time. Come on, baby. All right, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's it. That's it. a good test. I think it was a true test of my power. Um, I feel like they gave it everything I got. I started out just under what I thought my FTP probably could be right now, which I thought it would be around 200. Uh, today, we're waiting for some rain, so I'm on the trainer, and I'm going to be doing an FTP test. All right. Just reached the 200 watt plateau. 
five minutes in. It's kicking up a little bit. 220. 240. 260. Feeling a little suffrage. 280. 300. I finished, it was miserable, but I have a new FTP, 229, 229, up from 224, winner.